I mean, I, I don't know. I just it's kind of ever since I started playing football, you know, that's that's kind of just been ingrained in my head. Um, you know, starting off early, um, you know, my, I had to kind of dad where I had to go to practice and. If I didn't play good, I mean, he was brutally honest. And, you know, growing up, I always wanted to please my dad. I always wanted to make him proud of me and stuff. So uh, a way that I found I made him proud was having that nasty attitude and that, that, that edge. Um, and that kind of just carried over my game all the way till today. So just part of who I am now, I guess. And, and your whole line is, has that personality. Does it talk about Mason and, and Mags and, and the other guys and, and what they bring that way? Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, I think, I, I think that, you know, that the three of us really play well with each other, especially, you know, Mason playing center be guard air tackle and um you know especially when we play on saturdays and you see a guy you know finishing a guy one player you know clean a guy up off, up off the pile uh i mean that, that gets everybody going and not, not not only yourself but the whole entire line everybody sees that and so that's kind of like the you know the attitude we want to carry with us as an o-line with the young guys out there the unwinnus and the british and is this line in pretty good shape for a few years to come oh yeah you think? yeah we'll, we'll, be, we'll be good for a few years what have you seen from those guards specifically uh you know those guys just have some really natural abilities that you can't coach you know mike uh you know being as big as he is i mean he, he moves people very easily you know probably easily more easy than you, sh you should be able to like a human should be able to uh so mike's gonna be really good um you know ben's really he's really bright really smart really aggressive um has great hands uh, both those guys just have a lot of traits that you can't coach. They have the intensity that you yeah. have. I mean, uh, do, do they like to, to hurt people? Uh, yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I, think, I think you know. Right now, I'd, I'd say Bredesen has that more than Mike. But you know, Mike also has the same thing. You know, you know, Bredesen comes every snap, and you know, he wants to he wants to get after somebody every play. You know, Mike's Mike kind of just moves people and doesn't really know uh, how good he is yet, but he will. Kind of patience thing you were talking about with the backs. Is that something that's I don't want to say new, but improved this year? I mean, Def yeah, de it's de it's definitely improved this year. I think, um, you know, for whatever reason, I don't I don't, I don't know if that's because of coaching. I don't know if it's because they just trust us more. Um, but yeah, I mean, the patience is for any running back. I mean, that's key. I mean, if you hit a hole, a hole too fast, the play is not going to work. I mean, you have to let the scheme block itself, and then you find the hole. You know? Were there times? You know, the, maybe the holes weren't there, that, or it was just that they didn't wait for them to develop. I mean, in past years, what was the? It's probably a combination of both. I'd say. I mean, I don't know. That, that has to be a, a, a really satisfying feeling to have created the hole with somebody else, maybe just by yourself, yeah. and and to see him go through and go, he hit it just right. Yeah, I mean, that's that's as an alignment, I mean, that's what you work all offseason for is is to have those moments in those games. And, you know, no one blocks somebody, and the next thing you know, they shoot out behind, you and you're like, yes, did my job. So. You guys got to relax a little bit during the bye week, the starters? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, got, I went home for uh, quite a few days and just did nothing. Lay on the couch. Got in the stand a little bit, but yeah. So they gave you the week off, essentially, the uh, starters? Yeah, so the, the starters basically, you know, we, we, we stayed. Um, we, coached, we coached one of the days. We had the option to coach one of three days. So uh, we stayed and coached one day, and then we were done with that. He just let us go home. And then young guys stayed until, I think, Thursday. Okay. And then we had it home. You feel rejuvenated? Oh, big time. How much yeah. does that help? That's huge. That's huge. I mean, we've never had a bye week like that before. Um, so it was it was awesome to be able to get home. So you I feel went, fresh. So you went hunting? I did. Did you uh, kill anything? Didn't see nothing. <laughs> not not a damn thing. So not one a, thing. A peaceful hunt for you? Very or peaceful. Frustrating hunt. hunt. Yeah, very frustrating. Yeah. Uh, I saw some squirrels and some chipmunks and stuff, but that was left those alone. Yeah, that was it. So deer were the goal, but you just didn't deer were the go. Yeah, with, with with my bow, but didn't see nothing. So so how is this different than past bye weeks in terms of? Uh, well, you know, in past bye weeks we had to. I think if, if I'm correct, last year we had the time off, but we had to stay here. Um, so you know, just just the, having the ability to just go home for that many days consecutively uh, was huge. You know, you home cook meals and be with the family. Uh, that's that's the kind of relaxation you can't get the same. You know, if you just stay here. So when did you leave and come back? I left on Wednesday, and I came back yesterday morning. I left Pittsburgh at like 7.30 or something, got back here at like 12 or something. Did you go watch your brother play? Yeah, yeah, watch him. person? Yeah, yeah, so he was, uh, he's eight years old, but so they had like the Super Bowl game or whatever, and uh, they won. I was talking about your other brother. Who? The Lion. Oh, Graham? Yeah. No, I didn't watch it, but he started. I saw that. That was awesome. That was awesome. Yeah. The whole Ohio thing, because you grew up there, you played high school there or whatever, I mean, that whole idea you're watching it and you've got friends obviously you went to high school with i mean is this are we at the point where they start hitting you up and they're saying because they can see that you guys are the, headed out of this collision course uh yeah i mean it's definitely uh just the time of year we start getting texts saying you know the game's coming near especially uh you know with where we're ranked and where they're ranked i mean 
that's just it's just bound to happen. You know, it's it's going to be when we get there, it's going to be a crazy atmosphere. I mean, as it always is, but you know, this year is kind of turning out to be, um, you know, one one for. Want to remember? I feel. I feel like you know. as it starts to build. I mean, is there something like that you kind of sense? I mean, you can see this is different. You guys have. They've been in this position every year. You guys yeah. have never been in this position in your career, at least, right? Yeah. I mean, is is there something different that you kind of feel in terms of you're paying more attention now, or something? Or no. I mean, we've all, we've always paid the same amount of attention. You know, it's just kind of like you know, this year we're doing so good. Um, you know, expectations are, are just kind of different, mm -hmm. and that's just that just goes and that go, it really goes without saying. Um, and we just got to keep doing our job like, like we are, and good things will happen. As you, as you keep your eye on them, kind of hope that they continue to win? Or was there? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I personally, I, would, I, I want them to win all the way until we play them. Um, I know some of the guys were wishing them to lose, which, I mean, it's hard not to. But uh, a little part of me was hoping they lose. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm glad they won. I want, I want them to be, I want to be, make the game as meaningful as possible. Seeing them 